Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to understand the differences between defects, bug, error and failure and how these terms are interconnected and related. There is very minor difference between defects and bug, but in the actual scenario, as I have explained in the previous tutorial as well, you will be using bug and defects interchangeably. And uh, usually there will be one term that will be followed within the project. And then in the tool, you will be tracking these two types separately using another common field, which I'll explain. So mostly Jira will be used and how you will track uh, the defects and bug uh, or categorize them separately is through the resolution field within Jira, which I'll explain in a moment. So let's first understand what is the minor difference or the minute difference between defect and bug. Um, mostly you will find them used interchangeably. So what exactly is the difference between these two? In terms of interview, it is important if somebody is, you know, um, looking for the difference, you can explain what the difference is. But actually in the real projects, it won't matter much. So when we talk about defects, a defect is any deviation from the expected result. And same thing is bug as well, right? So any deviation from the expected result is a defect or bug okay so that is why they are used interchangeably now any uh, a bug is uh, or a deviation is categorized as bug only if the failure is because of the coding error okay so if it is because of the if the deviation is because of the coding error it is categorized as bug if it is related to requirements if for example there was missing requirement or misunderstood requirement and the actual outcome is not as per expectation because of the requirement issues or the requirement hasn't been met then that is known as defect so defect so for example end user is going to uh, is using the application and the requirement whatever they have mentioned uh, that is not being fulfilled even though the application is working fine uh, it is you know there is no failure as such still the outcome is not as per expected requirement then those sort of issues or the deviations from the expected results are categorized as defects okay however if there is any deviation from the expected outcome because of the coding issues that is categorized as bug okay now both of these are the deviation from the expected result so you can use them interchangeably in the actual tool. So for example, you're using Jira, you will mostly be across the project or across the organization. You will be all, uh, you'll be used. You'll be saying these deviations either as defects or bugs or using them interchangeably within the tool. There is a resolution field. So in Jira, there is resolution field. And once the issue has been raised or defect or bug has been raised, when it is fixed or categorized, then in that case, you mention whether the resolution is because of the code or it is because of the requirement or it is because of the environment. And this is what you will use the resolution field to categorize the defects or bug rather than having a separate category of defects and bug within the tool. You will be just using one term there. And that is why there is a lot of confusion between defects and bug what is the difference right so there is such a minor different difference that it is least bothered thing within the actual project but in terms of inter interview people are fussy about whether you know the dif difference or not then you can explain this difference it is least um, it, it's going to uh, matter least within the actual project when you are going to work you have the resolution field and you have the categorization anyways to categorize these defects and bug so this is the brief difference between uh, the defect and bug and uh, you can uh, remember this in terms of uh, interview purpose now when we talk about the error and failure okay so error is any error that can happen so error uh, in terms of capturing the requirement error in terms of coding error in terms of testing when you are using the test data you might have used wrong test data uh, you, ha you might have uh, tested using the wrong scenario and any sort of error can happen so error is 
could be coding error so for example within the code uh, there is some error so there was supposed to be uh, you know single um, colon there have been two colon within the code or there 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 are you know uh, there is invalid return type so any any sort of uh, error within the code or within the requirement capturing there can be error because of that uh, invalid requirement that has been captured the error requirement that has been captured developer will implement that and which in turn will result in either defect or bug right so you know which which in turn will anyways not fulfill what actual customer need are so error is any error whether it's requirement whether it's you know development error or the test error uh, which leads to failure okay so how these terms are related so usually error will lead to defects right so it will lead to defects or bugs as well right so whenever there will be error whether it's in the requirement whether it's in the coding whether it's in the testing uh, so if it is in the test in the coding phase when you are going to test that particular uh, deployed code you will find the deviation from the expected result so you will raise the defect and because of that defect or bug there is a failure right so if there is an error only then there will be a failure when we say failure a failure is something which uh, say for example in the login scenario when I put username and password and click on login button I should be able to redirect it or I should be on the dashboard page right so I should be on the dashboard page if this is not happening because of the error in the code so when I put username and password and click on login button there was the error within the code because of which error um, I couldn't be logged in successfully and the, the login is failing so what this error resulted in the, this code error resulted in the defect and the defect is basically I'm not able to so the actual result is I'm not able to re be redirected to the dashboard page and which is not expected result so which is the defect and that defect caused the failure of uh, me not logging in to successfully and redirecting to the dashboard so failure is the failure of what I am supposed to actually achieve from the application right so it could be uh, a, a blue screen failure so in windows you see many times right windows crashes so that's a failure and that failure is because of any error that is existing within the operating system code now there might be error in the code but that doesn't mean that it will lead to failure all the time so there are many errors in the code for example operating system you see continuously there are patches coming out and those patches or fixes basically are um, being uh, made available only in the case when that error leads to the failure uh, and these error are not necessarily will lead to failure they might be um, say for example there is a particular flow in the code which hasn't been executed yet right or your test cases were not able to execute that particular flow so if the error is in that particular flow then that error won't get detected unless and until that flow will get executed okay so that is why the error might be there in the application but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will cause or result a failure unless and until that particular scenario is executed and as we have already seen the testing principle exhaustive testing is impossible or not possible um, or very difficult even if it is possible with using you know automated tools so there might be error which are still there within the application but they are in dormant state and might result in failure only if you or a customer uh, executes that particular scenario in some cases right so this is the brief difference between defects and bug and how these defects and bugs are related what is error and what is failure and how error leads to defects and failures in turn right so i hope this is clear enough for you to basically 
understand the difference between defects and bug and explain to the interviewer in case somebody asks you what is the difference between defects and bug what is error what is failure so how error leads to failures so all of that i've covered in this tutorial and hope this is helpful for you in your interviews and the, in the actual software testing projects so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching